Hello friends, in this video, let's quickly talk about how to implement security in SQL Server Analysis Services. In SSAS, we implement security with the help of Windows Active Directory. Also, we follow here a role based security mechanism. The people who belongs to the particular role will get a same privilege. We have three level of access or security. First one is at the full control. So if I provide a full control privilege, then the people who belongs to that particular role will get a full control on that cube. Next level is process database so if i provide a process database privilege then the people who belongs to that particular role can process that particular analysis database or cubes third one is read a definition so if i provide that permission so the people can see the definition of the cube definition of the dimension definition of a um, uh, entire database while providing this read definition, I can restrict a couple of uh, objects or couple of data elements. So that kind of comfort we have uh, in SSAS security. So here I am going to show you in a practical manner on the cubes which are already deployed on a server. So let's quickly uh, go to the SSMS and look for um, analysis services. So here I'll be using SSMS 18.9 version. Okay, here uh, let's select uh, server type as analysis services and server name as uh, uh, the uh, name of the server and Windows authentication. Okay, and uh, click on connect. So once you click on connect, you will be connecting to the analysis server, not a SQL server RDBMS. It's analysis server you can see it venkat pc microsoft analysis server 15.0.3250 okay so and if you have three options databases assemblies and management so let's expand the databases so how many databases you have you can see that um, uh, database names here ad cube and the other one is at the test so here i'll be providing the permissions at the database level so I'm going to call it as a AD cube is one database and test is one database. Inside this database, I'll be having a couple of folders, data sources, data source views, cubes, dimensions, and so on. So here, currently I have only one cube with the name of adventure works, but you can have a multiple cubes. So now I'm going to provide permissions on this AD database level. I mean, AD cube level, it means that AD database this is the name of the database. Okay, so similarly, I have another uh, database, analysis database with the name of test. The people who have this uh, permissions to this uh, AD cube database, they may not be accessible uh, the test database. So let's quickly talk about this. Now go to the roles. So let's uh, right click on roles, click on new role. So once you click on new role, you'll get an option like a kind of pop up like this. So you have the name of the role you need to give. By default, it comes with a role. You can give um, uh, the name of the role so like, like a process process role okay you can create multiple roles process role okay so you can use some description as well it's not mandatory it's an optional description field so now you just select only process okay so once you come to the next option here so i am not saying the people names here i'm just giving only name so where i'm going to specify the list of people who belongs to the process role is you need to say that in membership so to membership here you need to specify the people let's click on add provide a name of the people's here so I'm, I'm just giving a guest okay so let's click on okay so now the people who logins with a guest they'll get the process privilege why because i gave a process uh, privilege so now data sources you can see these and cubes this is a one cube you don't have access and you don't have a uh, this one you can you have only process so cell data so you don't have anything and dimensions and so you can uh, read something okay and um, you can process all okay and uh, data you have current like this because as an admin you are able to see everything okay since i am providing permissions as an admin so this is how i need to uh, name the roles 
okay once you click on okay now the people who belongs to this particular process role will get a process permissions on the particular cube let's quickly come back roles click on new role let's give it as a admin see the name itself is a kind of administrator so it means that i'm going to provide a full control so once i select a full control both the options are selected here so i can change the name i don't need to give a only admin but i can change whatever the name i want but it should suitable to my um, purpose actually okay now let's come to the membership here now i need to add the list of people who belongs to this uh, role so unfortunately i have the same user okay i have only one user that is a um, name of the user is guest okay click on okay so now you can uh, data source cubes everything see if you remember like uh, earlier i have an option to uh, deselect this but currently i don't have now why because i already gave full control here it, it means that you have full control okay you can restrict or you can do whatever you want the people who logs with admin role they can do whatever they want on the particular analysis database ad cube let's click on okay so that's how you are going to provide a permissions on the ad database now the people who logins with these particular roles will get only this one they won't be able to see test at all why because i have not provided any privileges here roles is empty for the test db so this is how you provide now now the people who logins with this process role so they will be able to see they can process only what kind of process they can do is simply right click you have a process option they can do it the people who logins with admin role uh, whatever the permission i have they can they also will be getting similar privilege because i made it as a full control okay so there is another role let me talk about that you have a read definition okay in the process database you couple of uh, things you cannot uh, see how it has been defined or how the structure was there for that so if you provide this read definition so then you can see the difference here you have a option see here read definition is highlighted here do you see this okay so because i have provided read definition as well as process privileges to the process role it is a full control so that's how we do provide now the people who connects to this uh, uh, particular database they can do based on their privilege so as you know you can connect the analysis server database from ssms or from excel or from any reporting platform that comfort we have in a uh, ss as uh, databases so that's all about it so if you have any questions please uh, drop your questions in the in the comment section i'll i'll try to answer so as soon as uh, uh, possible also follow me on facebook for more technical updates please like and subscribe for more technical videos thank you